Yeah, today there is some wind and waves, so I get about 2.4 knots at full speed uh, instead of 2.8 that I got when there was no wind and waves at all. Test static thrust first speed second speed third speed fourth speed Fifth speed. Yeah, yeah. And now test with a brush speed controller. a servo tester starting With a brushless speed controller it's possible to make very small adjustments. Let's say I want to travel at 200 watts. And it also has reverse. Now it stops. If I do like this, it reverses. Now it's reverse. Stopping. Forward. Stopping. Yeah, I think uh, using a brush speed controller with a trolling motor is very nice you will be able to adjust the speeds very precise and it will consume less power at lower speeds with the five way switch that uh, my motor came with a bit of power will be burnt in the resistors at the lower speeds uh, but for m me I, I'm not sure I'm gonna mount it permanently I think I'm gonna go with the five way switch that was included in the motor uh, but the nice thing with a brushed speed controller is you can just put it between the motor and the battery so you just put the motor on the highest speed and then you put uh, the brushed speed controller between the battery and the motor I think I will have it like that when I need it yeah and a nice thing with this brushed speed controller it's uh, only $24 off out of eBay yeah I think that will be great if you have a trolling motor for a smaller boat and want to be able to adjust slow speed for fishing etc. Yeah and here are the results. The, they are calculated to be like in zero wind and zero waves. If there is waves and winds it will be speed will be less and uh, amp hours per kilometer will rise up. But here I've calculated uh, how many amp hours per kilometer travel it takes. So here you can see the results 
So I think I will keep to speed 4 when I travel somewhere. Yeah. Have a nice day. Goodbye.